Hello people, Barry here from my collector and today we're going to talk about Pokemon 151 especially and exclusively for the Japanese version and why do I think you should not buy now based on facts so I'll be as quick as possible as I can in today's video so please stick with me as in a matter of 10 seconds you're going to see some data so data point number one supply so what is this a white chart with black writings and blue line however what does it represent so this is the number of japanese boxes for 151 in the european market first of all this is publicly available for anyone that joins the discord you can have this chart yourself plotted every day through a discord bot which obviously isn't the discord and it's absolutely free so if you and there's not only this there's a multitude of products available. So just you just need to join the Discord. Link is down below and you will have access to all this data. But that's not it. So as you can see here, unless you're blind, which I mean, I'm actually sorry if you are. Uh, but if you're not, you can clearly see it's the supply is going up. You can see here we were at 1200 boxes at the end of May and we all already hit over 2000 boxes these days. Now, one thing I said, I had data all the way back from end of April. I lost it because I'm absolutely an idiot. I'm just stupid. Um, so, but before the reaping hit, at least the first wave, that's what it appears like. And we're gonna talk about it. There were less than 300 boxes in the market. Why am I gonna say that? You'll see it, actually you'll hear it at the end of the video. So we went from 300 to 2000. What a price did? Well, it crashed. Now, it obviously was at $200 and euros. Now, why did I say dollars and euros? Obviously this is European market, but, and if you're American at this point, you, you if, you're ready, if you're still watching, you could ask yourself, Barrett, I'm American. Why the hell would I care about the European market? Good question. Obviously, if you are American, European, you're Australian, you don't print Japanese cards in your country. They are printed in Japan. So these cards are imported from Japan. And the numbers, you could safely argue, they're gonna be similar in the EU and the US. Now, they might not be the exact same number, but the swing you could expect could be pretty much the same as they're gonna be imported. And you're also going to have pretty much the same price. It may differ because of, of currency exchange, but it's gonna be pretty much similar. So that's why you should care if you're American, Australian, British, uh, whatever, wherever you are in the world, that's why you should care when it comes to Japanese boxes. If I wasn't convinced enough, well, I'm sorry. That's, uh, that's the best I could do. So that being said, price, price be moving down. Now, we are expecting, if you go on a, any Japanese group, on Facebook, where they export, especially for sellers, exporters. So if you wanna buy from abroad, like myself and any of you who is not in Japan right now, they are repeatedly saying that there's gonna be another wave hitting the market. They don't know exactly, but it appears to be end of June, July. So you, we could expect, we are expecting a wave another wave and again let me remind you this was the number of boxes and it went from 300 now you're gonna need to trust me on that i could probably retrieve some old data actually there should be a video on it now that i think about it on the channel i'll probably link it if i remember and uh now at 2000 if there's gonna be another wave it's gonna be more prodded so in conclusion what we could expect is price to keep on dropping hopefully get into the 50 euros area at that point i'll probably be buying i will try to open some of the channel as always trying to provide the cheapest box breaks in the european union at least to my knowledge and i'll uh, just have fun and obviously we'll try to keep see some sealed as an investment um, but i'll obviously need to do my due diligence first that being said why did i say there were 300 boxes and i said it was important well if you join the discord query the bot and query for the number of boxes for Lost Abyss and Predict Trigger, you're gonna 
see how many boxes there are. Are there more or less than 300? And due to the fact they're going to reprint those sets soon, it's going to happen the same thing. Are we going to see 2000 plus boxes hit in the market? And are we going to see obviously a fall in their price? That being said, I hope I was convincing enough to see you in the Discord. If not, then I would still appreciate if you could subscribe. It really helps as well as leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you in the Discord. Hope to see you in the next one.